Hot weather from Australia is coming to New Zealand, but storms in the Southern Ocean have got another idea for other parts of the country. Hello, I'm Philip Duncan. Thank you for joining us. We've got a very busy forecast with this heat wave in Australia. We're going to get a pulse of hot weather passing over New Zealand. It starts Saturday in the South Island and then moves across the rest of the country over Sunday and Monday and then slowly departs away on Tuesday. At least for most places, it might linger in the north a little bit longer. So let's try and break it all down. At the moment, high pressure pressure stuck over this area. There's no real sign of that moving for at least another week and then we think the next high will be tracking down a little further south. So for now that is stuck in place and that's encouraging subtropical and Australian breezes out into the Tasman Sea. It's not overly windy uh, but there's a little bit of a breeze around New Zealand as you get further down towards these storms in the Southern Ocean and it's going to get pretty active down there. So this is how we end the working week. Well for those of us who are still at work, as some of us aren't. But uh, for the Friday, it's windy around the South Island. I can see Met Service already putting warnings out. It's going to be blustery, especially around places like Otago Peninsula and through the Southern Alps. So if you've got a tent, just be aware you're gonna have a sleepless night. It's gonna be blustery and there will be a few showers, uh, mostly around Southland, coastal Otago and the west coast. I don't think the totals will be all that great. And the high is stuck in place. It's a bit windy around the North Island as well. Pretty much everywhere has a windy Friday, but you'll find that the very far north is probably the calmest, places like the Bay of Islands. Let's get into the weekend, and you can see that red line. That is the heat wave from Australia surging out into the Tasman Sea. At lunchtime, it is getting very close. So by the end of the day, that hot weather comes in over the South Island. You'll get a pretty hot Saturday night after arguably a bit of a cool Friday night. So you'll wake up on Saturday, might be a little bit cool, by the end of the day, hotter. And the overnight lows jump up as that hot weather starts to move on in. Meanwhile, a storm in the Southern Ocean is helping to crank those winds up. So between the high and the low, windy weather coming in or remaining around that lower portion of the South Island. As we get into Sunday, look at the, the red lines are all over the place. They measure um, the thickness of the atmosphere. So basically uh, it's higher up, but what you can see is all that hot air coming in across the country. So it lingers around Canterbury, Nelson and Marlborough, and it spreads right across the North Island. It is a hot Sunday, and we could be seeing temperatures with these nor'westers that are, are pretty brisk, that could push the temperatures up into the late 30s. It's possible. So it's going to be a hot Sunday. Um, the further north you go and the further east you are, the further south you go, not quite the same picture. You've got uh, wet weather in there, or at least showers, and some cooler air flows. Now we get into next week. It stays hot over the North Island, hot around Canterbury and Marlborough. Rain returns to the West Coast, windy Northwest is in there. They're coming out of the subtropics, they're coming out of Queensland. That's why the northern part of New Zealand could still be very hot on Monday, pushing up towards 40 degrees. I don't think we'll get to 40. You never really know, but I don't think we will. I think we'll be in the mid 30s, late 30s for the most part, but we'll keep an eye on it. And I think a lot of the main centers, um, you know, places like Napier and Hastings and Gisborne will be all around that sort of 32, 33, 34 mark, which is hot weather and blustery conditions in the mix as well. Thanks to the storm down there. And our final map for Tuesday is an interesting one. You can see the heat, the last part of it sort of clearing away. So Gisborne, Hawke's Bay, Wide it up uh, and the upper North Island still pretty hot on Tuesday. But as you go further south, look at this, the dark blue line coming in. That's showing the, the thinner, cooler air of the Southern Ocean surging up. So this is not your normal summer forecast. It feels more like we're in autumn or spring, except the temperatures up here will be summer-like. It's going to be a bit of a miserable Tuesday around the South Island. Fairly cool on Wednesday, but the winds ease. And here's the final bit of good news. Off the map there, there's a next high that is expected to arrive over the South Island by the end of next week. So it's really just from now till next Wednesday that it's a little bit rubbish for you. I'm trying to be you know, positive. That is all from me. Have a great day. We'll catch you again tomorrow, Friday, with the very final forecast for the week. And as we head into the month of February.